आर यू यस यू लुकिंग फॉर अ प्लेस टू स्टे इन मुंबई विदाउट हैविंग टू सेल योर ऑर्गन इन चोर बाजार आर यू लुकिंग फॉर अ प्लेस टू स्लीप विदाउट वेकिंग अप इन अरेबियन सी If you answered yes to any of those questions then this video is going to be the answer because in this video I will be living in a capsule pod hotel for 24 hours now these capsule pods are known to be very futuristic and technologically advanced from the outside but I want to know exactly how comfortable they are and if you can actually spend a day or more here without wanting to put your head in a microwave Now if you don't know already capsule hotels are basically hotels that have extremely small capsule shaped rooms with pretty much no space to walk they are just about big enough to give you a good night sleep and that's it now these capsule hotels first originated in Japan in the city of Osaka in 1979 but now they've spread around the world in major cities including one in Mumbai and that's where I'll be going I will also be giving you all the details on how much this costed later in the video now with all that being said let's get this journey started <laughs> Okay so we are currently heading to Thane station from there we are going to take a local train to CST this is going to be my first time in Mumbai local by the way i've seen stuff of it being massively overcrowded apparently it's like a Travis Scott concert out there but i've been in delhi metro many times so i think i'm used to the crowd bhai kabhi mumbai local pe baitha tu kabhi rajiv chowk metro station gaya hai to then chup ho ja bhai chal It's 25 minutes late, cause of course, there isn't really much crowd here to be honest. So I think this is gonna be a walk in the park. Got into the wrong class. Blame the fucking cameraman. So we basically got a fine. Bencho, did they? Me to cab se aajate. So I didn't actually know this, but the hotel is in the main building of the station itself, like actual Mumbai station. It should be a booking uh, in the name of Syed Zaid. Okay, so I booked two pods: a classic pod for 24 hours for me to stay, and a private pod for six hours for my cameraman Vedan to stay. The main difference between the two is that in the private pod, the pod itself is inside a room. However, for the most part, I'll be staying in classic pod, so that's where I first went. Okay so quick tour of this pod. We got a headphone plug and a USB socket to recharge your phone. This is a do not disturb button. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. I mean, it probably turns a DND light on somewhere on the outside of the capsule. These two are for mirror and ceiling lights. This is where you put your key card to turn the power on of this pod. Then we got a digital clock with an alarm, a power socket for laptops and stuff. Then another USB socket over there, and then a pretty big mirror to um contemplate your life choices. This is sleep mode. I don't know what it does. Let's try it. Okay, it basically just shuts off the light. These both are basically reading lights which turn those two lights on. This is a door lock which basically locks the door. So to open this I have to first click on this and then I can open it. There's all these instructions and rules of this capsule. Bro there's a fucking Tata Sky. That means you can watch cricket and football here. This is the locker. Bro it doesn't fucking open. Press the red switch located at the back side of the door. Where the fuck is the red switch? Bro where the fuck is the red switch? Am I being dumb? 
And now let me show you the common area as well. So we got this hallway which leads to all the washrooms. We got three sinks over here to wash your hands, brush your teeth, etc. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight washrooms. I mean, pretty standard washroom with all the essentials. Then we got some cool paintings over here, Taj Mahal over there. So all the pods on this floor are private pods, which have a private door. And all the pods on the first floor are classic pods. And that's where I'll be sleeping. But for now, let's check out the private pod. Okay, so this is pretty spacious, I would say. Like you can basically do anything here that you can do on your bed when you're alone and no one is watching. Okay, that sounds mad. Okay, so it's pretty much the same other than the private entrance. Same buttons, same mirror, same TV, same locker that I still don't know how to open. Anyways, I'm just gonna edit now because I have nothing else to do. Okay, so I've pretty much just been editing. I would say this is where this place shines the most. Like if you're just gonna be on the laptop working or watching something, this place is amazing for that. Like you don't have to pay extra for the hotel. Okay, so I've spent a few hours in here. I haven't yet felt claustrophobic. You know what? Maybe I'm just used to being alone. So yeah, now I'm gonna go out to eat dinner because you can't actually order food in here. And then after that, we're gonna see how comfortable it actually is to sleep here. Okay, so he's gonna teach me how to book a Mumbai local ticket. Use map. Use using map. Huh? Lower Parel. Where the fuck is Lower Parel? Bottom left area. Okay, Parel is written. Ah, Ah, Now? Select a destination Change journey to two hours. First second Second, second, second. comment I actually booked a Mumbai local train ticket. Okay, so now we are currently going to this place called the Irish House and we are gonna watch FIFA there. And also have dinner. This is second class ka ticket and second class mein hai. Okay, so he is saying this Virar train is apparently supposed to be really packed. We'll see about that. Bro, what the fuck is this? This is the MTS fuck. Bro, the train we are in right now is nothing like this. Rajiv Chowk metro station stays undefeated, bro. Yeah, um, about that. So while returning to Thane from local, I may or may not have been part of an extremely overcrowded train from the other station that almost broke my tripod. So yeah, I take back the sentence. Anyways, back to the video. Bro, they made a tower over a gali. That's not very halal. But I'm gonna eat though because I'm fucking starving. Bro, I asked for a table near the TV. Not fucking inside the TV. Okay, I don't think we might be seeing Ronaldo versus Messi in the final. Okay, so it's currently 12.47 right now. I'm very tired. So I think I'm gonna go to sleep. But before that, I need to get changed. Uh, 
Okay, so I slept good till around 6 a.m. But I kept waking up after that because of all the noise. So if you ever happen to stay in one of these, make sure to bring earplugs. So just got back from that restaurant. I'm still not used to Mumbai food. I ordered tandoori chicken and even their tandoori chicken is different from what we have in North India. Just say you think it's shit. We know you want to say it. I still prefer our North Indian version which we get in cities like Delhi and Jaipur. Or you know what, maybe it's just gonna take some time to get used to it. By the way, it's 11.57 right now. My checkout time is 3 o'clock. So I only have around 3 hours left here. I think I'm gonna edit probably. Cause I haven't edited much since I woke up. I'm not gonna lie, snacks is how I've been surviving here. We got two packets of makhane which you will know if you're from India. And I also got these two peanut butter bars for energy. I think I'm gonna have one of these right now cause I'm starving. Okay, so final review of this pod hotel. The space is nice, has basically everything you would need, especially if you're just staying for a few hours. There's Wi-Fi, there's two sockets to recharge your phone and laptop. I mean, there's even a TV for fuck's sake. The washroom and the sink area is also very decent. So would I recommend this? Well, if you are staying for a few hours or just one night, yes, absolutely, this is perfect. You don't have to pay for extra space and features of a hotel that you likely won't use anyway. I mean, there's no point paying for a hotel if you're just gonna be on your bed using your phone or laptop. And it's also perfect if you're gonna be out most of the time and you just need a place to sleep. By the way, it's 2.54 right now, which means there's only 6 minutes left to check out. This has been a very unique experience, but now I'm gonna pack my bag and leave. Check out. Okay, Thank thank you. You're welcome. And with that, this capsule hotel experience came to an end. Now, as for the price, I booked a classic pod for 24 hours for me and that costed around 1500 rupees. I also booked a private pod for 6 hours for Vedan to stay and that costed around 1100 rupees. Now, you can book these for a minimum of 6 hours and a maximum of 48 hours. I would say though, if you're on budget, just go for classic pod. I don't think the private pod is worth the high price because it's actually not that private. Like, you can literally hear every single thing from the pod beside you. Anyways, this is it for the video. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.